Greetings everybody, this is Chris Cash from The Catholic Company, and today I'm talking with Al Cresta from Cresta in the Afternoon. Do you have any specific personal memories of uh, Benedict you'd like to share? I, we never met. <clears throat> we never met. Uh, I, I, I know that he, I've, been, I, I've been impressed by his work, though. Uh, he, more than, uh, more than John Paul II, and more than most bishops, uh, he did more to successfully address the problem of priestly sexual abuse uh, than anybody else. And uh, Matthew Bunsen and Greg Erlinson, in fact, have an entire book on the role of uh, Benedict in cleaning up that area of the church. And uh, still work to be done, but he really did get, the, get it on track. Uh, I thought he also uh, was a model pope in that he was willing to address some very difficult issues. Uh, Islam, for instance, he uh, w went out on a limb there. Uh, he, he reached out to uh, people on the left and the right. One of the first people he met with uh, after his pontificate began was Hans Kung, who was, a, uh, uh, cat was formerly a Catholic theologian who had ended up having his license stripped from him. Uh, he's gone on to be a theologian for the rest of his career, but not a Catholic theologian. But he and uh, he and Benedict had been friends back during the Second Vatican Council, and so once Benedict became Pope, uh, he reached out to Hans Kung and asked him to get together for an afternoon, and they did. I don't know, you know, what they talked about. It wasn't released, but I that was clearly a, a generous gesture. And then he's also reached out to people on the right, uh, people like the Society of St. Pius X. So he's really tried to embrace uh, as many people as he can, and yet nobody was better equipped to present the faith in its fullness and to adhere to it than Benedict. He's, he's going to be, he will be missed. And I'm just hoping we, in our next pope, will be as... Uh, inspirational for me as he has been and do you have anything specific to add to our spiritual bouquet for uh the end of his papacy well i i think we should be uh assuring him that we'll be praying for his continued quest to see the face of jesus in his book uh, jesus of nazareth this is he said that this is his own, this is a work of personal theology for him this was not a work of the magisterium of the church. This was his, per his work as a personal theologian. And he said, it really is, above all, my search, my own personal search for the face of Jesus. So I think we should hold, you know, as we uh, offer prayer for him and reassure him of our prayers, that's one of the things we should keep before him. Thank you so much, Al. Yeah. Thank you, Chris.